It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Bat Family. Carol, Terry, Cheryl, Karen and Mike, ready for action. And the O.D. Family. Carol and James, Martha, Jessica and Donna. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Sammy Davis, Jr. Thank you very much. I got to tell you, thank you. Thank you. Get out of here, guys. Don't do that. Say that, say that for, say that for Richard, but I, 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 I'm very happy and thrilled and honored and embarrassed, but Richard Dawson has, has been a friend of mine for many, many years, and when I first went to London, we had the good fortune of becoming friends, and it has remained. I am probably the first fan of the shows, of the show that he does, and I love him as a human being. I love him for what he does on the stage, and all of the crew, the producer, the director, and everybody was nice enough to say, why don't you go out and do this? And Richard, of course, said so. But this spot belongs to the one man who is the best at doing it than anybody I know. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce Mr. Richard Dawson. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing? It's beautiful, huh? What's the one? Yo! Yo! Pamela! We're you. I'm nothing. <laughs> You're beautiful. Who's beautiful? Let me tell you. Sam and his whole family, all and everybody, they've watched this show. I think with the exception, like, Bob Goulet is the other absolute freak who will call me three times a week, as you will. <laughs> he'll call me, he'll say, why was I with that family today, or that question? <laughs> or, he loves this show, and he spoke to me yesterday. I said, please come down and say hello, and he did. Now I'm going to ask you something that you don't know. First of all, Steve Lawrence at the dinner the other night said, I want to get on with Edie and my family to play for charity. A saloon, a saloon act, play a saloon act. Yes. I said... I bet you Sammy and his family would come on, because I know they love this game, they love to play it. And Steve yes. said, Sammy? What, are you kidding? We just knock them off like that. So that's more or less a, a gauntlet was thrown down. Well, let me tell now, you something. Yeah. Now, Steve Lawrence is Mr. Good Singer. Right. His wife is adorable. Okay. And we're dear friends, right. you know. And we did the Academy Award together on this network. I know you did. Okay, now, I'm only going to tell you one thing. I will cut him nine ways to Sunday. <laughs> and do you accept the challenge? challenge? I accept the challenge. Well, we gotta do. Right. We gotta. We gotta do a nighttime, one-hour special nighttime with Sammy and his family versus the Steve Lawrence family. They'll play for charity. Is right now, it? although they're my friends, I'm gonna bet on Sam. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, just want, I, I gotta tell you one uh, thing that I'm gonna split because no, I know you gotta play. You split. No, no, no I want you to do. Okay, but I what just want to tell you. When I was in the hospital yeah. about nine months ago, right. I bought Family Feud. Oh, the game? The game. Yeah. And I played it. <laughs> Did you play me? And I no. My secretary played you. <laughs> Margaret Ware played you. And if we're in the hospital at Cedar Sinai, this is the truth, and I'm getting examined. And people are going, what's going on in there? Because they're going, pa, 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 pa. and there was 20 people in my room. But I'm going to tell you, we won that time. We will win when we come back. You just pick the date. We will be here. You've got to do it. And we'll Wait, pick the Can challenge. I give you a surprise? Yes. Play the first question. You know this game backward. <laughs> do it. First question. They're, they're the champs right there. They're the champs. You take this. Yeah. That's how much they've won. This is the Bath family, and you won a... Let me see if I can get that, that marvelous sort of savoir faire that Richard has. Up to this point, you've won $5,476. Right? Right. And everybody's going to be here. We've got... Now, tell me, who have you brought with you? 
I'm Carol, and I'm so proud to meet you. That was quite a shock, but I was so the real thrill. Thank you. This is my youngest daughter, Terry. Hello, Hi. Terry. My oldest daughter, Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. My dear daughter-in-law, Karen. Hello, Karen. And my oldest son, Michael. Michael. Hello. Another tall guy. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the people that's going to try to beat you. Odies. The ODs. Yeah! All right. Here you go. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, now, Carolyn, tell me, I hear that you're from Scotland? That's right. Yes, we're from Scotland. I've been here about eight years. Sorry. Yes. And uh, this is my brother-in-law, James. Yes. And my sister, his wife, Hello. Martha. Hello, Martha. My sister, Jessica. Hello, and her Jessica. daughter, Donna. Hello. Hello. Now, let me ask you something. <coughs> if you've been here eight years, why do you still have that brogue? <laughs> I'll always have that, I think. You think you will? I think I will. Well, then, let's give it a shot anyway. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told me which pile do I take it from. First one. <laughs> Top one. This one here like this? Yeah. Or is it the yellow one? There's a yellow one here. No, the yellow one's the big one. Oh. <laughs> That's it. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> this is worse than marching in Mississippi during the Civil Rights. <laughs> the top five answers are on the board. Try to find the most popular answer. Now listen to the question. Name a kind of product that advertises itself as mild. Cigarette. Cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it says. <laughs> There is one answer better than that. <laughs> Would you like to see? Sure. <laughs> Soap. 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 Yeah. All right. That's a good. That's a very good answer. Thank you. I use it every day. Oh, so do I. I'm trying to do what he does. I'm going right into the toilet. <laughs> Soap. We want to pass, Sammy. You're going to pass. Yes. All right. You go back there, darling. You've got it. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. Now I take the mic and I go over here. This right? is going so smoothly. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. I'm in rehearsal with uh, Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Name a kind of a product. Excuse me. Yes, it's your turn. Oh. Come. <laughs> Name a kind of a product that advertises itself as mild. Mm. Liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, can we say that on the air as such? Good. Okay, then. Here we go. Liquor. <laughs> oh. uh, I find it mild all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Name, <laughs> Name a kind of a product that advertises itself as mild. Shampoo. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yay! All right, we'll see. That's a very good answer. We'll see if it's up there, okay? <laughs> Shampoo! <laughs> yeah. Hello! <laughs> already. He knows, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, name a kind of a product that, that advertises itself as mild. Um, cleansers. <laughs> that uh, that oh. is the same as soap. And you, I'll give you another chance. Okay, how about lotion? Lotion. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Take a shot, you know. Okay. What can you do? <laughs> Lotion! <laughs> Second two strikes. You got one more strike left, and then, you know, yeah. the ODs get a chance to steal from you. Okay, now, Mike, look at me good, man. I'm not going to kiss him. The last guy I hugged and kissed lost the presidency. Uh, uh, Firm handshake is all they gonna get. <laughs> Name a kind of a product that advertises itself as mild. Cosmetics. That's a good one. It's yeah, good. Well, let's try it and see it, but it's a good try, Mike. Cosmetics. Oh. Oh. Over. Okay, here we go now. Are we finished praying? <laughs> <laughs> or are you blowing up a bagpipe here? Cheese. What are you doing? Cheese, 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 cheese. 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 Uh, we're going to try cheese. All right. Very good idea. 
Cheese. Reveal. All right. Number five. Yeah, he's got it. Which is, we'll be right back with your regular host right after this commercial. Hey, Do not adjust your sets. I've not gotten paler. It's me. I'm back. Ninety-one dollars there. Nothing there. Let's go. <laughs> kind of a special day, though. Wasn't that fun to be here? Yeah. All right. One hundred people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question: Name something people do once a year. Yeah. Buy a new car. Buy a new car. What say, James? Go to church at Christmas. Just once a year. <laughs> a, a little church. <laughs> Not there. Come on, Cheryl. Cheryl Come on, Cheryl. Something people do once a year. Celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Celebrate a birthday. A little birthday. Oh, right. <laughs> what are you going to do? You'll pass, Richard. You'll pass everything. Go. Yeah. I'm absolutely surprised at them. Hi, Don. How are you? Hello. Hi. Something people do once a year. Um, watch the ball games on New Year's Day. Okay. Good, eh? Ball game! Very good. First try. How you doing, Mike? What do you think? Something people do once Pay a year. Pay their taxes. Looking for the tax man. Come on. Yeah. Number one. What do you think? I can't think of a thing. You've got three seconds. Oh, do once a year. Yeah. Seconds, right there. Take a vacation. Aha, vacation yeah. day, you're all right. If not third strike, vacation. You're right there. Well, done. Well, done. <laughs> well, I'm not letting Sam give me out of those kisses. What do you think? Three seconds, something people do once a year. There's a chance for you to steal. Come on, Miss Sweetheart. Something oh. you get there. They love it if you say it. Celebrate Thanksgiving. Celebrate New Year. Answer yes. is? Celebrate New Year. All right. Have a happy New Year. All right. If it's there, you get $62. Big lead. If not, you're in this game. New Year! Bojangles. We'll be back right after you. How long did you have the money? 153. Nothing there. Come on, Angel. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. The question is name something people borrow from their co workers at work. Yeah. Money. Money. Number one. What are you going to do? They're going to play. Well, you probably knew that. Yeah, something people borrow from their co-workers at work. A uh, pencil. A borrow Good. pencil. Good. Good. What do you think? Three seconds. Newspaper. Newspaper! Not there. First try. <laughs> yeah. Paper. They borrow paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just paper. No, not there. Something people borrow from their co-workers at work. Two strikes. How about their typewriter? Okay, if that's there, you're all right. If not, that third strike. Typewriter. <laughs> not there. Oh, there's enough money up there to make you the champs. What do you say? Tools, 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 tools. 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 Is it tools, Richard? Tools. tools. All righty. Tools there, you're the new champs. If not, you're in this game. Do they borrow tools? Five. Gum. They borrow gum. No money there, Angel, but you've got five thousand four hundred and seventy-six dollars. What are you giving me this for? Tell me. Tell me about 
Who's gonna play? Let's go. Who's first? Good girl. Go to your room. Carolyn's going for the money right after we watch this. I'm ready. What part of Scotland are you from? Motherwell. Motherwell? Mm -hmm. You know where that is? Certainly I do. Sure. It's in Ireland. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping you weren't going to say that, Richard. Where is it? It's 12 miles from Glasgow. Yeah, I know. It's around that area. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty, though. Glasgow's not pretty, but Motherwell's well, not. Motherwell's very pretty. I'm glad your mother is as well. Give me 15 <laughs> seconds, please. A little kiss for luck. Thank you. Be quiet over there immediately. Yeah, shut up, Martha. They're all over there juicing it up, you know. Uh, Name a sport a small person can be as good at as a big person. Baseball. A measurement of time. Minute. Something in the kitchen you polish. Fridge. A toy kids have in a sandbox. A, a truck. A prize won in raffles. A car. Turn around. You're very good. Yeah, a sport a small person can be as good as a big person. You said baseball. A survey said. Why anyway. <laughs> a minute of time, you said, just a minute. A survey <laughs> said, 19. You got 40. Something in the kitchen you polish, you said. The fridge. Always polish a fridge. I do. Right. <laughs> Clean fridge. Green. Survey said, 8. A toy the kids have in a sandbox, you said. Truck. A survey said, Three. And a prize won in raffles, you said. Car survey said. You got 81. Clear the board. That's good. You go back there. Now we're looking for Bonnie Jane. Come on, dear. How you doing? How are you doing? Well? No. No? You're fine, aren't you? Kind of shaky. Nothing to be shaky about here. Open fire. What to, what music were they playing in there on the earphone? Uh, I don't know. Good. Yeah. It was horrible. Brainwashing. <laughs> you were usually a, probably then Glenn Campbell. Well, I'm going to ask the same questions I asked the sister-in-law. You cannot duplicate her answers. If you do, you get this. I'll say try again. You give me another answer. Okay, champ? Okay. Well, please remind everyone the answers Carolyn give us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name a sport a small person can be as good at as a big person. Baseball. Try again. Soccer. A measurement of time. Hours. Something in the kitchen you, that you polish. Uh, silverware. A toy kids have in a sandbox. Uh, ring. A prize won in raffles. Car. Try again. Uh... <laughs> what was your answer for the uh, sandbox one? A ring. A ring. Rubber ring. Oh, rubber ring. RR. Rubber ring. All right. What sort of sport? Small person, good as a big person. You said, soccer, our survey said, seven. Baseball, number one, you got 88. <laughs> Measurement of time, we asked. You said, an hour. That was the number one answer, our survey said, 45, you got 133. <laughs> Something in the kitchen that you polish. You said, silverware. That was the number one answer. Survey said, 47, <laughs> you got 100. A toy kids have in the sandbox. You said the dreaded and testy rubber ring. <laughs> Survey said zero. They have a shovel in a sandbox. And then a prize won in raffles. You duplicated the answer, ran out of time. Car was number one. You got 180 though, $5 for every point. You got a total of There's $900, okay? We'll be back right after this. Well, you've got enough money to buy several rubber rings. <laughs> you've got $1,201. You're the champ. She'll play again next time we get together here on the field. We love you. In the end, only one of us will be left standing. Deal the card. Let's play some poker. If you don't know who the weak player at the table is, it's probably you. Oh, my God. Just pay attention. Focus. It's good for your game. I should have brought a million dollars. You should have known better than to bluff that idiot. Well, they're not gonna do the moves I do. You gotta play the players.
come up against me, I'll bury him. High Stakes Poker. Monday night at 9, 8 central. Only on GSN. Who's gonna play? Let's go. Who's first? Good girl. Go to your room. Carolyn's going first.